Good day, everyone. So last topic, we have discussed the definition of computer and the do's and don'ts in using a computer. Let's continue our discussion with the elements of a computer system. So a computer system has six important elements. The people, the software, the hardware, the data, connectivity, and procedure. Let's start with the first one, the people. People are the most important element of a computer system. They run and operate the computer. They build and improve computers. They write the programs and design desired output from a set of input data. Next one is the software. Software are programs or instructions that a computer must follow to do its task. The purpose of software is to process data into useful information for people. Next one is the hardware. Hardware are the physical components that you can feel and touch. Hardware includes the CPU, the mouse, the keyboard, the printer, speaker, and the monitor. The hardware needs software to function properly. Fourth one is the data. It includes text and numbers, sounds, images, and video that we input into the computer for processing. Raw data are normal inputs entered into the computer. The software that the user decides to operate on them determine largely the resulting output. Next one is the connectivity. Connectivity means that a computer must be connected to other computers, especially through the internet. Using the internet, people can share and access data and greatly expand one's capability and reach. The last element of a computer system is the procedure. Procedures are step-by-step -step instructions to follow when using hardware, software, and data. The procedures are normally written in manuals of hardware and software manufacturers. These are written by computer specialists and are shipped together with the computer product in printed or electronic form. So again, we have the people, the software, hardware, the data, connectivity, and procedure. That is the six important elements of a computer system. On our next topic, we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages and the 10 commandments of the computer ethics. Thank you and God bless.